Hey there guys, it's me the Dom Fanatic and welcome to week 8 of the Pokemon Premier League Division 1 Season 4. God, this league's getting old now. Anyway guys, today I'm bringing you a game against Lars, also known as El Sizzle. Now he is playing as uh, Newcastle United, the replacement for Fufu, Sam. Uh, Sam obviously couldn't finish the season, or unfortunately couldn't finish the season for us. Uh, he had too many real life commitments going on. So, last stepped in like a true gentleman. And uh, well, here we are today facing Newcastle United. Uh, a few honorable mentions of things on Lars' team that you can't see. Uh, he has indeed got a Sylveon, which was scary, because Sylveon's always scary. Mega Agron, which by god I was so happy I didn't see him like, right in front of me right now. Um, he had a few other things. Can't remember what they were, but they were the most important ones anyway. As you can see, we've got Golurk, Talonflame, Starmie, Roserade, um, Mandibuzz, and Lantern. I expected um, five of those. I didn't expect the Roserade, if I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, because I have many ways of taking that thing on. Um, but my team, I have got Physically Defensive Arcanine, I have got Specially Offensive, I believe Expert Belt Heliolisk. Uh, I have got Choice Specs Noivern, Special Defensive Skarmory, uh, Sword Stance, Fully Offensive, Mega Lade, and Dragon Dance Life Orb, Crawdont. Um, so basically, I felt very confident in this matchup, as long as Town Flame is restricted to the amount of time it can have on the field. And uh, obviously, that is by having Rocks up, and also having things like Crawdont. I know, obviously, Brave Bird will prioritize my Aqua Jet. But, uh, you know, Crawdorn is something that can deal with it decently well. Arcanine's got extreme speed just for, you know, out prioritizing shenanigans. So, basically, my main concern is Talonflame for the time being. And uh, we'll try and kill all the other things off once Talonflame's gone. That's basically the game plan because uh, I don't have many switches to Talonflame. Anyway, I'm going to lead off with my Noivern. I'm going to find out this one's Assault Vest, which is lovely. I'm going to bring in my Vimto because it's one of the freest switches ever. Um, Lantern really can't touch me that well. Uh, in comes the Rose Raid. I do play it a bit risky there. It could have easily been a Scarf Rose Raid for some sort of reason. Um, but I do Volt Switch and I go into my Maiden expecting, you know, maybe a Sleep Powder. Mainly because. I mean, shut up. Because uh, I don't have any Grass types on my team. I was thinking, okay, maybe he could bring it. I do have Tangrowth in the squad, so also a reason why I would bring it. I do have Raw though. Because Lars has many setup opportunities in this team. Um, mainly Town and Flame. Also the uh, Mega Aggron, so I was like, no, I need Raw. And uh, once I knew I'd Rawed him out, I could get a free Stealth Fox up. So I decided to stay in against this Lantern. I'm going to Roost just to scout and see what it does. And after Leftovers and Roosting, uh, I think Thunderbolt probably done about 10%-ish, uh, which is pretty good. So in comes Heliusk again, it's a free switch in. Uh, and I believe he's going to bring in his, yeah, he brings in his Rose Raid again. So I'm thinking at this point his Rose Raid is a special defensive wall. Um, I'm not going to stay in. He's obviously going to predict me to click Volt Switch. I could have clicked Hyper Voice there, to be honest. Um, obviously, it wouldn't have affected the Golurk, but Golurk is a real issue for me. But I'm going to bring in Noivern, expecting the Earthquake, and that way I can also find out what item he is. He is the Pasho Berry, which is the berry that we use water type moves, so he's obviously preparing for the Crawdaunt, um, not the Surf on my Heliosk. I was debating whether I should bring Surf or Dark Pulse. Dark Pulse probably would have been better sort of bring in, in this matchup, but you know, with the other monster that Lars had sitting behind, I wasn't confident. Um, I was thinking he was defensive and that I would outspeed him, but apparently not. Uh, only after every Mega Revolve would I outspeed him. So that was a misplay by me, but I do get the knockoff kill. Now, this is where my bollocks decide to drop, and uh, I become a man. Basically, I knew he was going to have to stay in a rapid spin. I knew it, otherwise Talonflame can't come in against this thing. Um, and if he has a setup, you know, this... When I have Gallade in, it's free setup for, for Talonflame. At this point, I was like, no, he's not going to stay in. I, have Ar I, I haven't shown him Arcanine yet. He must know that Arcanine is, his, uh, is my switching for Talonflame. Um, I'm aware it's not a full-on switching because, you know, if he's sub bulk up or Soul Stance, there's not much I can do. But um, I take out the Lantern, the Starmie, and the Roserade with Mega Gallade, which is more than I thought I'd ever manage to do this game. So that was amazing. Uh, now I bring in the Arcanine. I'm running the risk here massively by clicking will o -Wisp because if he just stayed in the Swords Dance, if he just stayed in and subbed and bulked up, I was I was pretty much a goner. So, um, I do manage to burn the Mandibus, which is quite nice. Uh, I can bring in Skarmory. I was going to try and get my rocks up just to limit Talonflame coming in and out. 
Um, it would also weaken this thing if he did want to switch in now. And obviously make him go like a little bit weaker each time would also be lovely. But he does actually uh, taunt me. So I can't actually attack. He does go for the U-turn this turn. Um, and he does bring in the Talonflame. Now I'm like, okay, I'm going to sack Noiban off. Because, you know, the Brave Bird damage would be nice. I'll bring in Arcanine. It's all good. But I actually live. Um, and I click Hurricane and I and I hit. Shout out to Shroom. Uh, I, I hit the Hurricane, which is nice. And I hit another Hurricane. And if I'd have got the Confusion there, if I'd have got him to hit himself in Confusion, that could very well have been a 6-0. But Lucio does have to go down here to Fire Punch. But he's at a range where obviously... No Pasho Berry will save him from the Aqua Jet. I do click Aqua Jet with my Crawdon. And now I have five Mons uh, versus his weakened Mandibuzz. And he's going to Roost. I'm going to knock off. I'm thinking, right, get rid of them Leftovers. Crap Hammer could also miss. We don't want to like play around with that. But, you know, now Leftovers are gone. Burn's going to be quite nice. <laughs> Lars reveals his Foul Play. It does literally nothing. I'm going to click Dragon Dance because he does outspeed me. Uh... But I'm going to click Crab Hammer here and take the win. So that's a 5-0 win against Lars and the Newcastle United. Uh, honestly, I wasn't expecting to win that game at all, let alone win it that convincingly. Um, and that now puts us on, I'll say, 4-4 four and four in the title. Because technically at this point, at the stage, eight weeks in, we are 4-4. Four and four. Obviously, you'll have seen there's a game uploaded already. Kind of outside of chronological order against Kelly. If you count that game, technically I am 5 and 4. I haven't played uh, my week 9 opponent, which is Paul, yet, and I haven't played my week 11 opponent yet, which is Alex, because we're trying to get caught up to week 8. I do apologise to everybody in the PPL and everyone who obviously follows the PPL. I have delayed it this long, but life and stuff, you know, gets in the way sometimes. But I had a day off work today, I managed to finish team building, I managed to play Lars all on the same day. It was, it was good. So, uh, yeah, next video you should see from me, PPL wise. Uh, is a battle with Paul. Now, I'm hoping that, you know, we've got enough points now where we're getting away from the relegation zone. Um, you already know I've won five games. I'm on 15 points technically, but although after week eight weeks, I'm on 12 points because I've got four wins. Um, I won't say anything else about the league table to you because obviously we don't want to ruin anything. Um, but, yeah, I'm really... I'm feeling quite confident right now, actually, to be honest. This I've hit form. Um, just as also like a little mention, I will have another few videos coming out next week, early next week, yeah, early next week, um, for like a secret little project some of us have been doing, so make sure you keep an eye out for those, uh, otherwise I haven't really got much else to say other than Good Game of Lars, um, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you later, uh, for another video.